All right, five. this is our 5 p.m. update on the coronavirus in Kentucky. Um, Kentucky, we're going to make it through this. We're going to see a lot of disruption. We're going to see more steps as we go, but we're going to make it. Keep having that faith. I'm going to keep being here every day. We are going to make it together. And understand that while it is taking a lot of sacrifice, and I understand it is taking a lot of sacrifice, what we are doing is protecting the most vulnerable among us. Uh, that is our job. And you know what we're doing? We're proving we really care about each other. And we are doing everything it takes to truly care about each other. I know today we've got a lot of kids and families uh, that are here, and we wanted to make sure that we started today with uh, an age appropriate. It's going to be video uh, for all the families out there. When we talk about all being in this together, we mean it, and it's all of you kids too. So while I'm governor of Kentucky, I'm also a dad. I have a nine-year-old daughter named Lila, and I have a 10-year-old son named Will. And like your parents and your caregivers and your grandparents, I love my kids so much, like I know uh, your caregivers love you so much. And while you're out of school right now, uh, I know you have a lot of questions, and, and maybe even your parents seem a little uh, anxious from time to time, not that they would ever admit it. Uh, so we want to make sure today uh, we show you a video, and then I believe we'll have it up online, uh, to, to talk a little bit uh, about this coronavirus. So this video was developed by Dr. Brenzel and his team uh, who, who work for state government on very short notice. Uh, the doctor in it is Dr. Tina Robbins, and she plays the mother. But here's the thing when you watch it. It's her actual daughter, uh, Sailor Birchfield. Dr. Robbins is a psychologist at CHFS. That's just a part of state government that looks out after families. I want to thank KET for on very short notice putting this together. And I want to go ahead and tell you there are a couple of major points in this video. Number one is explaining the importance of what we call social distancing. Uh, when you kids watch, you will see exactly what that is. Uh, second is that we've all got to be honest and follow precautions. That's what we teach you kids every day, to be honest with your parents and those around you. Um, we're going to talk about alternatives, which are just different ways of doing things other than in-person visits, which you would normally do. Uh, making sure that you get information from good places, that you know the information you're getting is correct, uh, especially for our kids. Just like in school, we want to make sure you get the right information. Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, different things we can do uh, as kids feel stressed and People don't think that kids feel stress. I know you do. Um, we're going to talk about finding time for some fun and being outside. And I know every kiddo out there loves fun. We're going to talk about that a little bit. We're going to talk about routines at home. Kids, just because you're out of school doesn't mean you should be sleeping in and doesn't mean you should be eating a lot of sugar and doesn't mean you shouldn't be following the rules. So we're going to talk about that a little bit too. And then we're going to talk a little bit about communication, but also we want everybody out there to know one of the things I care most about a parent. Parents, as long as you are well, hug your children. Hug them often. It's going to help you as much as it helps them. So let's roll the video. Hey, sweetie. Hey. How's online school going? It's okay, I guess. Kind of boring. You seem kind of down. Can we talk? Yeah, just, Mom, the virus stuff is getting kind of scary. Tell me what you're worried about. Maybe I can explain some things about COVID-19. That's what they call the virus. Well, all I know is it's a virus, and it spreads really fast. You're right. It, it is a virus, and it does seem to spread pretty easily from person to person. And that's why we're taking so many precautions. We're washing our hands a lot. We're coughing and sneezing, you know, into our elbows, those kinds of things. Not touching our faces, not getting around people. But if we're doing that, why can't we go to grandpa and grandma's? Well, that's, that's a really good question. So remember when Nana and Papa went recently to a hotel and stayed for a few days? 
So while they were there, they got a little worried that maybe they were exposed to some people that maybe had the virus. And so they're staying away from us so that they don't expose us to the virus. It's hard not going to their house, you know, because that's where I go whenever I'm on break. Yeah, I know. You really, you really miss them. And they really miss you, too. I think maybe we should call them more. Or you know what? Maybe you could even teach them how to FaceTime. <laughs> Or maybe I can make them a card. They used to love the little drawings I would make when I was younger. They would really love that. So what other questions do you have? Well, I know everyone's staying home and washing their hands, but it still seems like people are getting sick. Some people are going to the hospital and some are even dying. And kids at school were saying that we were all going to get sick and die. Mom, I'm worried that we we're going to get sick and die. First thing is, don't believe everything you hear or everything you read. People don't always get the facts right. And so we always try to listen to the medical experts. And so here's what we know from them so far. And that is that most people who get COVID-19 get better. And most of the time, kids that get it have a very, very mild case of it. And so it would be sort of like, getting the flu and feeling really, really yucky for a few days and then getting better. Can we try some coping skills? You know, I used to use them whenever I get stressed about school. Like you do when you're worried about a test? So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, that made me feel better. How about you? Mm -hmm. But what about the old people? I heard that it's worse for them, and what about grandma? Is she gonna get sick? So you're right. Nana does have medical problems, and that's why she and Papa are doing everything they can to stay healthy. If they start showing symptoms, they'll call a doctor. There are lots of people out there that are gonna help us stay healthy and can help if they get sick. Will they get it? You know, I don't know but they're doing everything possible to stay healthy. We all are. That's why they closed school for a couple of weeks so that we can keep apart and keep some distance between us so that we're not spreading the germs. Gosh, two more weeks out of school is gonna be super boring. Well, let's think about what we can do to make the days more interesting. Well, I have a book I wanna read and maybe we can make brownies or cupcakes, hot chocolate. Yeah, I'm all in for that. And I think you may have a little homework you need to do too. Yeah. And now I'm working from home too. And so I think it might be a good idea if we try to come up with a routine for each day, you know, put some structure into the day. So maybe we could um, start off with some breakfast and then get your schoolwork done and I can do some work. We can get those things out of the way and then we could have some lunch, maybe some screen time, maybe even go outside for a walk and get some fresh air. Can we go to the park? Well, going to the park probably isn't the best place to go because so many people are there and they've touched all the equipment and so their germs may be on it. But we could probably shoot some baskets. I know you love basketball. Yeah, it's better than being inside, you know, cooped up all day but I still miss my friends. Well, you know, what we should do with your friends is FaceTime them as well, right? You guys do that all the time. And maybe you could even write them a letter, like a pen pal or something. Yeah, like the olden days. Yeah, like the olden days. So how are you feeling now that we've talked about COVID-19? Better, but it's still, still a little worried. Well, that's understandable. It's perfectly normal to feel really worried. What are some things that we can do when you feel worried? Well, I usually take a deep breath or watching a show or reading a book. Yeah, those are all great ideas. And sometimes you like to draw or write in your journal. What do you think about that? Would those work for this situation? Maybe, I think it'll help. How about we make a deal? How about I check in with you regularly to make sure you're feeling okay, but you come to me if you start getting really worried or if you have some questions. Deal? Deal. Mom, are we allowed to hug? Yes, <laughs> we can hug. We live in the same house.
Hey, sweetie. Hey. All right. Um, since we asked kids especially to tune in, we're going to take a two to a three minute break, uh, which gives parents the opportunity to get their kids active and involved in something else. And, and uh, let's say, you know, three to five minutes from now, uh, we're going to resume here. Uh, parents, uh, we're going to give the same type of update that we do normally. Uh, so make sure that it's age appropriate for your kids if they're going to continue to watch. So again, uh, three to five minutes. If you're not worried about where you're taking your kids, get a snack, uh, do something healthy, and we will be right back. All right, as the governor takes a break, we'll move on to more news here for just a moment, then we'll get right back to the governor's news conference. An unprecedented time in all our lives, and now an historic change for the Kentucky Derby, the greatest two minutes in sports for 2020, will now happen on the first Saturday in September. Both Oaks and Derby have been postponed until Labor Day weekend. It's also opening weekend of college football. The official announcement coming today on a conference call. In